Hello friends, welcome to this video. Now, have you ever been lost in the sea of formulas? In this video, I will show you how you can use the formula auditing to instantly trace the errors, track dependencies and understand exactly how your spreadsheet works. There is no more guessing work. So let us start. Now, before I start this video, I would like to first of all, thank all of you for subscribing to this channel. Now we are a family of 25,000 plus subscribers. So I'm very, very thankful to all of you. And definitely I'm looking forward for more such support from your side. So let us start and let us see in this video that how we can use the formula auditing. So here I have given the definition of what is formula auditing in Microsoft Excel. So formula auditing in Excel helps you understand and troubleshoot the formulas. So whenever we are writing the formula, if we are having some issues, then we can use this formula auditing. You can trace precedence. We'll see this example here that is cells uh, formula refers to. Then we will also see how to trace the dependence that is cells that refer to a formula and also evaluate the formula step by step. Tools like trace precedence, trace dependence, evaluate formula and error checking are part of the formula auditing. So now here I'm having one example where I'm having some items that is apples, bananas and cherries. And here I'm having the quantity and these are the prices. And now here I have just put up the formula here. If I double click here, there is a formula equal to B5 that is this one multiplied by the C5. So B5 multiplied by C5, here it is 20, here it is 7.5 and here it is 21, 7, 3, 21. And in total we are having 48.5. If you want to do the formula auditing, so first of all we'll see that where the formula auditing is available, in which step we are having this formula auditing options. So for formula auditing, you can go to the formula tab. In the formula tab, we are having this area. So here it is written formula auditing. So here we'll be using one by one those options. Now, first of all, it comes here trace precedence. So if I put my pointer here trace precedence, so below you will see here the, the concept of trace precedence that is show errors that indicate which cells affect the value of the currently selected cells. Use control plus this to navigate to precedence of the selected cell. So now here, what we'll do that first of all, we'll start with this trace precedence. So Suppose if I put my cell over here, if I, if I select this cell that is D5, now I want to know that which cells were used in calculating this total. So I will select this cell that is D5 and now I will click this button here known as trace precedence. So I click on this button trace precedence and now you see that we are having here the arrow. So here it is showing us that B5 is used, also the C5 is used and we are having here the total. So these two cells that is B5 and C5 are used to do the calculation in the D5. So that is what we mean by the trace precedence. Suppose if I select this cell, let's say 21, that is the cell that is D7 where we are having 21. Then if I click on the trace precedence, then here I can see that here also B7 and C7 are used to do the calculation in the D7. So this is also known as trace precedence. Now suppose if I select this cell, which is the total. Now total is equal to total of these three cells. So if I select this cell, then I can click on this trace precedence. And now you see that here, all these three cells are selected and it is showing you that based on these three cells, the calculation is done over here. So this is what we mean by trace precedence. Now, if I want to go for the trace dependence, but, but before I show you the trace dependence, let us remove all these arrows. Now, if you want to remove these arrows, then here we are having one button that is known as remove arrows. So if I click on the drop down here, we are having three options, remove arrows, remove precedent arrows and remove dependent arrows. Now, currently we have gone for the trace precedent. So I can also click this option, remove precedent arrows, and it will remove all these arrows, or I can click this one also. It will remove all the arrows, whether they are precedent or dependent, it doesn't matter. It will remove every arrow. Let us click this option, remove arrows. I click it, and now you see the arrows are gone. Now let us see this trace dependence. So trace dependence means show arrows that indicate which cells are affected by the value of the currently selected cell. Use control plus this square arrow to navigate to dependence of the selected cell. So now what is this trace dependent that suppose if I'm selecting this cell that is B5 and I want to know that where this B5 is used, in which cell this B5 is used, then I can select this cell that is B5 and then I can click on this button trace dependence. If I click it 
and now you see that this b5 is now used in the d5 if i select this cell that is b7 i click on trace dependence then it shows that b7 is used in the formula used in the d7 so this is what we mean by trace dependence so i want to know that where this dependence is lying yeah i select one cell and then i want to know that where this cell is used for some calculation and what is trace dependence that if i select one cell where the formula is available and if i want to know that which cells are used to do the calculation in the currently selected cell then we go for the trace precedence here we are having the trace dependence now if i want to remove the arrows i can remove it but before that suppose if i select this cell that is d5 and if i click on trace dependence then here it is showing me that this d5 is used in the calculation in d8 yeah? because we are using all these values we are adding all these values and we are getting here 48.5 so this is known as trace dependence so let us remove this arrow so we can click here this drop down either i can use this first option or i can use this third option anything is fine let me go for the third option here remove dependent arrows you see one by one it is going yeah if i see if i click this remove dependent arrows then one by one these arrows are going if i click this remove arrows every arrows are gone so this is the difference here this is what we mean by the trace precedence trace dependence and remove arrows now we'll also see this button which is very very important suppose say you are having one excel file and, and that excel file is created by your colleague or by your friend now that excel file may contain many formulas so if you want to know that in which cell the formulas are written yeah because here this is here we are having very simple example that we know that here in these three cells the formulas are written and also in this cell the formula is written so this is a very simple example but let us assume that if you are having a very big sheet and the sheet is uh, containing lot of data and you also want to know that where the formula is written so in that case you can click this button here known as show formulas so if i click on show formulas so see immediately it will show you here the formula yeah, here we don't have any formula but here in this cell d4 d5 d6 and d7 we are having the formula so it is showing the formula now once we know the formula this thing again if i don't want to see this formula i can click the same button again that is show formulas and the formulas are gone this is about the formula auditing now in the next video i'll be talking about another concept known as evaluate formula so let us see in the next video what is this evaluate formula and how it can help us in the formula auditing so see you then in the next video thank you very much